Hello, and welcome to another fun filled Sunday. Fuck off, asshole! Leave me alone! Don't you know it's fucking Sunday? Hello, and welcome again. What we're going to talk about today is a synth called the subharmonic. And through an awesome pro suggestion, you should be able to pretty clearly hear my voice, hopefully, uh, with the help of that I'm going to use here to kind of duck the sound, the overall volume of the synth um, whenever I'm talking. So you see how it kind of takes effect here as, I, as I'm talking. And I have that um, just set up on a, on a Waves compressor that has a key input, so I'm just using HCOM. But you can use anything, really. I'm just using a 4 to 1 ratio, setting the threshold, you know, as high as I can go, you know. I just wanted to um, kind of duck with some smoothness and uh, come back with some smoothness. So you can, you can clearly hear the synth, and then when I'm talking, you can clearly hear me. That's the idea. And badass pro suggestion that came in online. So much appreciated to the audience. Always giving good feedback. Chilling out on a Sunday or any damn day. And I love it. So today we're going over the subharmonic preset number 24 by the name of YMO is the starting point. So we'll start here. Fine. Subharmonic adjusts one of four subharmonics of the main frequency. Their volume is controlled by the respective amplitude control. Select the amplitude corresponding subharmonic adjusted by the harmonic control. So amplitude, volume, right? And adjust one of four subharmonics of the main frequency. Feedback. Sets the amount of feedback applied to the sub oscillator internally. Turn to the left for an undistorted or siren like sound. Sounds like noise at the moment. For the right, or to the right for a saw like signal. Kind. Envelope amount controls the modulation amount applied to the feedback by the modulation. Detune. Sets the amount of detuning in a uni mode. Turn to the left for a larger interval. Intervals between the voices. Speed. Glide. On or off. 
vibrato. Modulation envelope. Amplitude envelope. Performance. Gain. Spread. Envelope amount. Controls the amount. Polarity of modulation applied to the form and frequency by the modulation envelope. Turn to the left for inverse modulation, i.e. low form and frequencies at high modulation signals and to the right for normal modulation, i.e. high form and frequencies at high envelope. Controls the pitch of the form and oscillators, main frequency and semitones. And we started out on 24. So now we circle back to 23.
pretty sweet tone. It's pretty rad. Sub motion for sure. Long ass attack, long ass release. And now you know what that means. Cause look my no hands. Ah! And it's still going. That's how that's how it's supposed to work. Go back. Get get that cup of coffee. This tone still be toning. Still toning it up. Cause that's how it works. Long release. Which means it takes a long time from when I release my hand from the note. From that point, it takes a long time to come to the point at which you no longer hear the note. Long release. If it's a short release, then as soon as I lift my hand off the key, you'd stop hearing it. That's, if it were a short release, what it would do. Just turn the release down, and there you go.
and I'm just there. And then that's fairly cool. And so when you blend the two. That's wild. And then what if you just like put a filter on that whole thing? What would that be like? Don't, 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 don't,